Hey, how's it going? Um, got a little new webcam, so I wanted to give that a, a tryout today. And uh, what I wanted to do was take everybody through the different Kabari uh, and flies uh, that I received uh, during the uh, winter 2023 Appalachian Tankara Anglers fly swap. Um, every year the ATA does a fly swap. Um, there was one that was actually highlighted last year uh, on tankaraangler.com um, that was run by Amanda Hofner. Uh, this year's version was run by Don Lux. He did a great job as the swap master, um, and I received my flies uh, last week. So uh, I thought it would be a cool opportunity to walk everybody through um, the flies that I got. So let me open up the package and um, I'll take you take you through them all. Um, first off, the first thing that I saw is I got two stickers um, in my package. I got one from Tent Cara, West Virginia. I'll hold that one up there. I assume that's what WV stands for, established 2021. So thank you for that. Um, also got one from Dream Scale Adventures, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm sure both of those will end up on a uh, on a Yeti cup or a Go Box or something like that uh, in the not too distant future. Opening up the little Kabari uh, box that I got here, this is what I sent in. Um, obviously, with my 12 flies, um, I tied some basic Futsu Kabari, nothing special, red body, twist a hackle. Um, I'll put a picture of those up on the screen so you can see what I tied. But obviously, I didn't get my flies back. Um, the way it works is you everybody tied 12 flies um, and received 12 flies back. But since there were more than 13 different people that were participating in the fly swap, not everybody got the same assortment back, which I actually think is pretty cool. Um, so it was a little bit of a, a grab bag in terms of uh, what you got back. Um, actually, a couple tires tied more than 12. So um, I think actually most everybody got back more than more than 12 um, because there were extra flies to be put in. So I'm going to open up the fly box right now and uh, walk you through each of the ones um, that, that I received. Um, the first one uh, came in its own little tub inside. And I know who that's from already just by the little logo on there. That's from NorCal Tenkara. And um, it's a cool little fly. I'll, I'll hold it up right here. Um, hopefully you can all get that right there. Hopefully you can all see that okay. Um, very nicely done. Um, pretty little fly. I'm going to have a good time fishing that. doesn't have a name on it or at least included in the thing, so I can't really say what it is. Um, another one that did a little bit of interesting packaging was the aforementioned Dream Scale um, Adventures. Did a little matchbook uh, to house their fly. So I'll open that one up. And this is from Kyle Rowe, just calls it a Sakasa Kabari. Um, and it is a moonlit hook, um, river runs, orange thread and body, whiting, Brahma hen hackle, and hare's ear collar. And let me take this one out and I'll hold that one up. Um, as well. There's that one. Came out uh, really, really good. Next up, we have um, one tied by Craig H., just called Grouse and Green. Um, and that one is a swept back fly. So I guess that's a, um, a June Kabari. Hold that up. I'll hold it up against my t-shirt. It looks like they show up a little bit better when I hold them up there. So that one looks really, really fishy. Next one is from the swap master himself, Don Lux. Um, this one's called the Murasaki Jun Kabari. Um, I don't know how well this one's going to show up because it's pretty dark um, as it is. But maybe I can get it on this background here, over here. There we go. Uh, that one's pretty cool as well. Next up, we have a pheasant tail Kabari tied by Steve Allen. Uh, no additional details on that, but it is your, um, I guess, a pheasant tail Sakasa Kabari uh, that came out very, very nicely. Very A lot of great ties in here, a lot of skilled fly tires. Usually, when you um, enter some of these mixed bag fly swaps, you get people of different skill um, skills and, and quality, um, but all of these are, are really, really well done. Um, this one's actually looped on with some string, so I'm not going to be able to take this one off its tag, but this is the one from, um, oh, the one I mentioned already, Tenkara, West Virginia, um, has a flag 
a little tag on it, um, and it's called Moose Mane and Partridge, and it is a Sakasa Kabari. Um, has a little bit of a ribbed epoxy body, um, and looks really, really nice. And hold that one up there. I'll put it against my shirt again, so maybe you can see that. Next up is a tie from Owen Carson at WNC Botany on Instagram. This one is got a little bit of a longer um, hackle turn on this um, Sakasa Kibari. Also looks like it's an eyeless pattern. Um, it has one, of, one that looks like he did some, um, I don't know if that's fluoro, like your level line, um, or what that is exactly, but um, has a nice little loop. It's a it's an eyeless hook on there, and that one's really really cool. I'll have to turn that up really really close if you can see that one. I don't know how well it's going to focus, but that one's pretty sweet as well. Got a whole bunch more, so hang on with me. Next one up is from John Stuka. This is a red ass monkey number ten. Uh, one of those famous patterns um, originated by the Tenkara guides. Um, this is his spin on it, and it is fantastic. Um, this one screams fishy um, and is going to be a great pattern um, to fish this spring. Next up is one called the Greybeard. It's another one tied, I guess, by Don Lux. This one looks like it's a Futsu pattern um, as opposed to all the Sakasas that I've hold up, held up so far. Um, it's just a, a futsu with um, gray turn of uh, hackle in there. Maybe one or two turns. Well done by Don. Don did a great job, by the way, of organizing the uh, the fly swap this year. Everything was very well uh, listed out, uh, very clear on where we needed to send the flies. And he turned them back around, it seems like, um, you know, in pretty much record time. Uh, next one we got is from Zach Timms. Um, just called wool yarn and peacock curl, um, and that's essentially what it is. It's a another a Sakasa Kibari. Let me take the little tag off here so I can hold it up. Um, and there's that one. Um, looks really, really nice. Good job by Zach. And then the next one has a little bit of a big piece of paper on here. This one is from um, Patrick Farrell. It is a light Kibari. This one is a June pattern um, with a swept black, swept back hackle, um, and that one is uh, pretty solid. Um, again, no ingredients on this one, so I'm not sure exactly what um, the tires tied with, but if they list it, I will mention it uh, when it comes up there. And here's actually one that does. This one's from, oh, Jason Sparks. Um, it is a modified Sakasa Kibari. Uh, tied with Ren Wool Yarn and Crawdad Orange Hackle. Um, he also wrote a little comment in there, Pulse Magic, um, I guess is what how he fishes it. Um, he pulses it through uh, the water. And you can see uh, that one stands out a little bit better on my black shirt. Let's see if I can hold it up here. Um, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Maybe not so much. But um, really interesting one on this one. It looks like Jason actually tied the the turn of feather behind the body it's more towards the back of the hook than it is the front and there's actually a bit of bare you know hook shank um up front so again he calls that the modified sakasa kabari i mean he actually sent two of those in so i got i got two of those so i guess i can lose one at least one without feeling um guilty in doing so a couple more um before i kind of wrap this up jason sent in another one um oh it's his infamous gnarly fly um which was done in red and black um, and a natural hackle. Um, he commented, excellent dead drift and pulse fly. So I, li I like the way he did that. He kind of gave people a tip on, on how to fish them as well. Um, this one probably won't show up that great on camera. I don't think any of these are showing up that great on camera, but you can see that one right there um, as well. As Jason, as those that are familiar with Jason's gnarly fly, um, it's not the, uh, you know, the cleanest tie, but I don't think it matters. I think all those extra fibers that hang out there are just, uh, you know, just extra things for fish to, uh, to, to focus in on. Uh, next up, I got one from Tim Ellender called the Futsu Cream Kabari, and it is a Futsu, um, with, you know, that kind of vertical wrapping and it is a cream body. So I'll kind of, again, I kind of hold that up near my shirt. Um, if you can kind of see that on the black background, that one kind of stands out. A little bit better. 
than most. I got a busy background, so it's tough to see some of these. Got a lot of stuff on my wall in my office. It's almost like a, <laughs> I don't know, like a TJI Fridays of fly fishing. Uh, looks like I got four more. Um, this one um, is called the Scotty Futsu, I guess. Maybe that's tied by somebody named Scott. There's no other identifier on it. Um, but looks like it either has a dubbing or a wool body. And then, you know, like I said, for standard Futsu, a vertical um, vertical hackle. Put that one back in there. Tie that on that hook. Uh, we got Tim Ellender sent in another one. Um, the Tups Kabari, um, which I think is one that is patterned off of, um, you know, somebody else's pattern. Uh, I remember, I think it was Jason Class wrote an article about uh, Tups Kabari, um, maybe on Tenkara Talk recently. Um, but you can see there's Tim's spin, no pun intended, on that fly. Um, and then I got one more here before I wrap this up. Or is this two more? Oh, two more. I'm sorry. Um, oh, this one's got a little bit more of a of detail to it. This one is a June Kabari tied by Nathan Lair um, using um, Firehole fire hole Stick 633, size 14, black UTC 70 thread, um, Shetland Spindrift Burnt Umber Wool, and Whiting Farms Brahma Hen Cape um, in pale yellow. Um, and this one is a uh, actually a really, really pretty fly. Um, it's not going to, again, show up all that well um, on here. But uh, if you can make that out, um, that's a great looking, great looking fly. Great specimen sent in by, uh, who did I say that? Nathan Lair. Great job by Nathan. And then the last one I have, I think this is the one it is. I have a piece of paper on here and then a loose fly um, that didn't stick on there. So we'll see what this says. I'll open it up and see if this makes sense. Oh, save the last but not least by Anthony Naples. Um, he did, um, well, he doesn't actually name the fly on here. It just says hook, Orvis tactical wide gap 10, hackle cream badger Brahma hen flank, body Orvis black hairs, ice dub, and tail hot green uni floss. And that's what this is. I do see this one has a tail. Um, it looks actually like a little kind of streamer fly. That one's really cool. Anthony is a great tie, fly tire. Um, if you ever see any of the the flies that he ties um, on social media, um, Facebook, wherever it is, um, he just does a really, really great job. I got to get more of these from him. Maybe the next time I bump into him, I can uh, toss a few bucks his way for a couple extra flies. Um, anyway, that's about it. Um, hopefully in post-production, I can put like little close-up pictures of each fly so you can see them a little bit better. But uh, I just thought it was cool to acknowledge the fly swap. It was really, really fun. Maybe we'll do one um, later on this year um, through Appalachian Tenkara Anglers or maybe another Facebook uh, Tenkara group. Who knows? Um, anyway, it's lots of fun. It was great to see everybody's flies. Thanks for everybody that participated. And um, you know, special shout out again to, uh, to Don Lux for doing a, a great job putting it together. Talk to you soon.